The other team that we have not mentioned that is 35 to 1 to win the NFC is the LA Rams. Jenks at 35 to 1 to mm-hmm. simply win the NFC. Is this worth a sprinkle? Hell yes. At 35, <laughs> put a dollar on it. Put one dollar on it. Yeah, I did. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Will you go to the dance with me? <laughs> well, here's the thing. The Rams are, there are a handful of teams out there, and I know this sounds like such a cliche, I hate to say it, but they will be the quintessential, nobody wants to face this team in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And why? Because they have a dynamic offense, they have a quarterback in Matthew Stafford, one of the best in the game, they have a great receiving core, and they have a fantastic head coach in Sean McVay. And also, they have nothing to lose at all. That's what makes the Rams dangerous, is that they can play with anyone. They have Super Bowl experience, and also they make the playoffs, and then they get in the postseason. Nobody's going to expect the Rams to make a run, and that's what makes a team super, super dangerous where you think, oh, God, we're expected to beat these guys. They could absolutely hang with us. And so that's when they pull out all the stops offensively. They scheme in crazy ways. Maybe they run a few plays they wouldn't normally run because it's whatever it takes. We're not supposed to be here in the first place. The Rams were supposed to be awful this season. Sean McVay deserves a ton of credit for what he's done with this team. So, like you were saying, this is just to win the NFC. Yeah, Niners are the class of the conference, no question. But at 35-1, to 1, how can you afford not to? <laughs> you sound like you're slinging cars now. I, I know, you can't I know. afford not to <laughs> yes. spring on this used RAV4. You really can't afford not to. It's such a good deal. But <laughs> 35 to 1, think about it. Even, even if they simply make it to the NFC Championship game, you will have a great hedging mm-hmm. opportunity. And usually that is the secondary goal of betting in the futures market. It's not just who wins the outright championship. Obviously, that's the number one goal. But number two, to set yourself up for good hedging opportunities down the road. And I'm looking at the teams in the NFC. I feel like in a one-game sample size, a one-game playoff, the L.A. Rams certainly have the pieces to at least contend with even the best teams in the national, uh, or the NFC, I should say. Let's look at some other plays across the board. I think it's hard not to talk about Joe Flacco when you look at this matchup. Jenks, I know you're eyeing a passing prop for Mr. Mm -hmm. Elite here. What's the number for his passing prop? 233 and a half? It is. Yesterday it was 230 and a half. That's where I played it. It's already gone up three yards, whatever. Joe Flacco has been unbelievable. Here is something that you may not believe. In his four starts, those four games, Joe Flacco has thrown for more passing yards than any quarterback in the National Football League. Let that sink in for a second. Oh, my God. That's that's crazy Mm -hmm. to think about. That's a good little bar trivia right now. Use it while you can. Could go away tonight. Who knows? Get in early tonight. But I I think that just speaks to the fact that, A, he's playing well, and, B, no matter what happens, Cleveland is going to pass the ball. And the thing is, Joe Flacco will throw some picks. I bet he throws a pick tonight, honestly, against that Jets defense. But it doesn't keep the Browns from still letting Joe Flacco air it out, which I sort of love. So I really like this play a lot. And, again, I think the Browns will get plenty of opportunities by stopping the Jets' offense to get back on offense, throw the ball, get back on offense, throw the ball. I I, I loved it at 230 in a hook. I really like it. Well, I liked it better then, but I still like it at 233 and a half, and clearly the money is moving the number in that direction, the over. So I'm going to take it. Yeah, here's the sabotage factor, because I would be with you. I still think the opportunity is going to be there, but, number Mm -hmm. one, this is the hardest matchup for opposing quarterbacks going against the secondary. And number two, is this the sabotage factor at all for you? When you see 97% of the money on this player prop, and it is the single most bet on player prop (sighs) for tonight's Thursday night football matchup. Long sigh indeed, my friend. Because we Uh all know this. When the public's all over a play, it always feels like it's not the right play. But every single factor is pointing towards it. 
And it's not like this is a very high number. It is juiced to the over at minus 120, I think, for a reason. At 233, whatever it's at, I don't think I'd hit the under here. But I do think people should know that. Chelsea, you were just talking about being an NC State fan. I know this is not the national title. But how many times can you say, yeah, I got a ring. And this ring says Pop-Tarts Bowl champion on it. Are the Wolfpack going to come through tonight? Well, I don't think they're probably getting rings. Oh, God. Oh! For the first time on this show, we are playing the NC State fight song instead of Texas, whatever their fight song is called. All right, so I think when you play this, it has the intonation that I'm going to choose NC State, but I'm not. I would say caution, my friends. Caution, my friends, when playing NC State when everybody is on them because that feels like the case here. Every single person that I follow in the gambling world is all over NC State in the points here. And when you look on paper, I suppose it makes sense because you look at K-State, they're without their quarterback, Will Howard, they're without their offensive coordinator, and I think it's like 60% of their receiving yards. So most of their big pieces on their offense, gone for this one. And usually the writing's on the wall when that's the case. The motivation is not necessarily there for those type of teams. But when you look at NC State, it's going to be Brennan Armstrong leading the pack, which he is a veteran. He He's played like 17 years in college football. We know he has the experience, but also we kind of know what we're getting from him. He's had some good games. I will say he's looked better down the stretch for NC State, but at the start of the year, there were some sinkers. And I think he has a relatively low ceiling. Like He's not going to light the place on fire. He is not the second coming of Russell Wilson at NC State. Uh, but I think the best player on the field for NC State is not playing in this one, and that's Peyton Wilson, who's probably going to be playing in the NFL. He's a linebacker. Uh, he might have been ACC Defensive Player of the Year, or at least one of the candidates for it. So that is a big hole on this NC State defense that's really been their call- calling card. NC State's best thing about them is their defense. So if they can stop K-State, like they will have a chance. But depending on Brennan Armstrong is not something I want to do. So, Jenks, you go ahead and you can choose NC State, but I will just root for my Wolfpack and not lose any money on them. Chelsea, I cannot believe that you heard the NC State fight song and you didn't pick your team. Double D, fire that up for me. Come on. Let's give NC State a boost here. Just like I always go off when I hear the Texas fight song, I want to go off when I hear the NC State fight song because we're talking about the mighty Wolfpack. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time since you've won a national title, but I'll tell you something. Lorenzo Never. Charles. 1983, Jimmy V running onto the court. That's iconic. You'll always have it. It'll never go away. Let me tell you something about NC State. Located in Raleigh, the Research Triangle. Where would we be without research and famous alumni like Zach Galifianakis, Bill Cower, Philip Rivers? This is an NC State Wolfpack team ready to win. 5-0 and against the spread in their last five games. And... That's my co-host. She needs a dub. We need a dub. We're getting it tonight. And when it's over, every single Wolfpack player, manager, trainer, and coach will get a delicious bite from the Pop-Tarts mascot, NC State Moneyline. (laughs) Ah, Jenks. Zach Galifianakis is not going out there. Bill Cower is not coaching. And let me say... You picked against your own team. You're taking Washington in the points, sir. I know. I'm worried. I'm worried. (laughs)